when you had me from the start by the way you stared the way you wrote upon me yeah yeah man i felt your energy the last few weeks i felt lost i was uneasy with myself i was extra hard on myself and i was constantly feeling as if i weren't doing enough i struggled with easy tasks constantly feeling tired but never allowing myself to rest online i pretended to take care I woke up to film a vlog and I actually believed that today I would make a change but once the camera was off I slipped out of balance once again. I preached about self-care and trust me I genuinely believed what I said and still do but I came to the point where my words no longer reflected my actions. I somehow forgot how to take proper care of myself and even though mentally I feel like right now the past few months I've never felt better physically I was pushing myself too much. Too much work too much school, too much running a household at the same time, and I fell down a rabbit hole. When the year came to an end, I knew it was time to reflect, to learn, and to do better. It was time to reset. Good morning guys and welcome to this week's video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Anna and happy 2022. How are you guys doing? I haven't been talking to you guys in such a long time, it's actually insane, but there has been a special reason for it. So before Christmas, I went to my doctor to get my thyroid checked, run some blood tests, all that kind of stuff, and I went back into him to get my results. And I was just expecting a quick check-in for my thyroid, but he sat me down for like 30 minutes to talk to me about my stress levels. My cortisol levels were all throughout the roof. When I asked him what I could do, he was like, well, relax and that is easier said than being done not gonna lie it did scare me i took my christmas break from uni as a christmas break from youtube as well i hope you guys are not mad about that but now i'm back to filming and i thought i would take you guys with me on the journey of finding more balance so yeah without any further ado let's get this day started let's get this whole video started i'm really really excited i'm so happy to be filming again by the way i got a new camera can you tell Balance is not something you find, it's something you create. Jenna Kingsford. I think we all feel out of balance sometimes. In society, our friends, our family, even though with no bad intentions, they have all taught us to just brush it off our shoulders and move on. And it's lecture time. Headache five days in a row, everyone feels like that. You can't sleep at night, so do I, that's normal. We expect ourselves to not work perfectly. We expect little and seemingly minor issues and we think that that's okay. The truth is, it's not. If you feel out of balance and if you think something's wrong, even if it does seem minor, do something about it. Get to the ground of your problems, find them and embrace them. Health issues, whether we're talking about mental or physical issues, are nothing to be ashamed of and they are nothing that we have to accept and live by. During the last few weeks, I took time for myself. I didn't work out for days, I just relaxed for the first time in forever, and I made research, a lot of research, on how to improve my life, how to find balance, especially for my hormonal issues, but also for my work and life balance. In today's video, I wanna share everything that I've learned with you. For a moment, let's leave the productivity and perfectionism at the door and just focus on our own well-being. and happy Tuesday. For today I actually had planned to show you guys a little bit more about my diet and talk to you guys about proper nutrition and all that kind of stuff. By no means I'm an expert. I just did a little bit more research over the last two weeks or so and been trying to find out a lot more about proper nutrition and how nutrition affects your body because obviously if you want to be the best version of yourself you have to take proper care of yourself and nutrition just plays a really really big part in that. Without any further ado let's get this day started. I'm willing to do as much as I can to improve my health. Taking the step to improve and work on my nutrition has made such a difference in my life. My skin has become clearer, I am way less bloated, I have less cravings, and all in all I just feel better. I spent so much time overthinking calories that I completely lost count of nutrients and actual health. Finding balance for me is all about treating my body right and feeling my absolute best. Feeling your absolute best is not a result, it's a journey and I'm glad to be on it. 
so a few changes that I made to my diet that I haven't talked to you guys about yet is that I'm now completely refined sugar-free, cane sugar-free. Refined sugar is not good for your body. It doesn't have any nutrients. It's just going to make you hungry. And especially when your cortisol levels are really, really high, what comes with it is usually higher blood sugar levels. And I'm going sugar-free. It's better for your body anyways. So I'm replacing it with maple syrup, agave, coconut blossom sugar but in general just cutting low i also step back from artificial sweetness so i do not drink any diet coke anymore and i do not use artificial low calorie sweetness anymore and then when i eat i always make sure that i have a big glass of water or my water bottle filled up right like this so i take my supplements in the morning then i take my green drink in the morning and i just have normal breakfast <laughs> As a human being, we all make mistakes. We all grow and learn. And with me, you can clearly tell that I've changed during the past year. I put it all on display here on my channel. And even for myself, it's interesting to go back every once in a while and see how much I've changed. Even though I always talked about food positivity, I never actually cared about nutrition. I always saw food as a source of energy and as the reason why I gained weight, but I never saw it as the reason for as to why my body works and functions the way it does, which is actually kind of sad. Das war Sommer. Voilà, die war sauer. Das hier? Ja. Was sind das? Blumenfries. Das sind ah. die heute? Schaurma. Machen wir Schaurma Raps oder Schaurma mit, mit Reis? Nein, Raps. The dietary changes I made, at least for me, are major. I cut out refined sugar to keep my blood sugar levels under control. I reduced my meat consumption, cut out dairy to decrease inflammation. No, I'm not lactose intolerant, but yes, dairy is still not good for you. And I added more seasonal produce into my diet. I'm not an expert, I can only tell you how I'm feeling and I am feeling so much better. Nutrition is the key element to your health and health is wealth. We take everything that we eat from takeout. Growth is painful, change is painful, but nothing is as painful as staying stuck somewhere you don't belong. Our mind is a powerful thing. It controls our daily choices, big future shaping decisions, and for a certain amount, even the people around us. If we want to get back into balance, changing our mindset is one of the most important things. My office is so dirty and messy, you can't focus. Let's clean it. If you don't want to do something, it won't work. And this is more than just a 30 day challenge, this is a lifestyle change you should really want and embrace that. Things that have helped me getting into the right mindset are books. I love books, books are great, and there are so many out there to choose from. One book that I genuinely enjoyed was Super Life by Darren Olean. Darren Olean dedicated his whole life to finding out how you can live the best life possible by making healthy choices, and it's honestly a super interesting book to yeah. read, even though I do not agree with everything that he says. All right, guys, so I'm in my car. I'm in my mom's car. Vroom, vroom. Who remembers that? I have to drop my car off because there's a little scratch in the back. But yeah, we're using our lunch break to drop the car off. Welcome to Growing Up Life. It's very much fun. Another book that I love and that I'm sure most already know is Atomic Habits. It's written by James Clear and even though it's mainly about improving productivity, I find that a lot of the tips that it gives can naturally be applied to lifestyle choices and habits. The main message of the book is beautiful. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's not about having achieved your goals, it's about the achieving process. Therese fell asleep after the lecture. Kennt ihr diesen Hunger nach einem Nerv, wenn ihr wach werdet? Ihr seid einfach nur so, ihr könntet jetzt alles essen. So, filmst du gerade? Läuft gerade? Ja. Also, Anna, hast du gerade gut geschlafen? War top. All of the other books that I have read over the course of the last few weeks were very scientific and explore the cause of hormonal imbalances and how you can work on fixing them, creating your own balance once again. Some of my favorites are The Happy Hormone Guide, which you will see later in this video, and The Hormone Balance Bible by Dr. Shantasone. Keep it in here, don't knock it. Be 
I think one of the most important things to learn and to wholeheartedly follow is that you are your own main character of your life. You have to focus on yourself. Others matter too, yes, but you are responsible for yourself. Once you fully understand and believe that, I personally think your mindset changes a lot. Good morning! It's so late already. I totally slept in today. It's 10.25. It's not about waking up early every single day. It's about listening to your body. Of course, waking up early has a lot of benefits, but if your body is just really, really tired, what you need is sleep and that's what you have to do when you try to find balance within yourself you do not overhear those cues of your body you actually listen to them and take action i love exercise i guess it's an open secret as it's pretty much all over my channel and if you've been here for a while you know that it's been a journey i went from home workouts to yoga to following a gym guide and i genuinely enjoyed every moment of this journey when it comes to finding balance, you have to evaluate your past life choices and how they affect how you felt. For me, I had to admit that going to the gym five times a week led to me feeling stressed out. Over my Christmas break, I worked out at the gym maybe twice and instead focused on balancing workouts like yoga and pilates. Now that I'm back to school, I decided on a three days a week gym guide, still by Chrissy Cella of course, and rounding everything up with some yoga sessions sprinkled throughout the week depending on how I'm feeling each day. What is this morning? Um, Arabic? It's an Arabic dish. And vegan lasagna. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Justin That was for free. Das war umsonst, ja. Dieser Apfel hier Exercise should complement your life, not control it. Moving my body makes me feel good, but if stress is overshadowing the joy I get out of it, it's not worth it. Especially if you have hormonal imbalances like I do, too much exercise is not good for your body. And your body working well and you feeling healthy is more important than a toned physique any day. You can't pour from an empty cup. Take care of yourself first. Self-care is something that has become more and more important to me. It includes taking real, proper time for myself, skincare, taking time for my meals, and enjoying spending time with people that I love. It's the little things like waking up 30 minutes early in the morning to really do my skincare, to take 15 minutes to stretch, to clean up the house because I know it makes me feel good and to have enough time to fully get ready without feeling stressed. Hoping you can see me through the crowd I know it ain't the right thing Wishing you this way But I do, I do I spend so much time working, whether it's for uni or for YouTube, I really value the time that I get for myself now. Which means I'm taking more than just 5 minutes whenever I'm doing something for myself. I don't want to rush things, I want to thoroughly enjoy them and be present in the moment. I also felt those effects on my schoolwork by the way, I'm much more content when I'm at school and way less grumpy. You are the one working for yourself and you can only work when your batteries are charged. And your batteries are only charged when you take proper care of yourself. Getting enough sleep, eating healthy, having healthy relationships, doing things you enjoy. All those things 
are going to help you feel much more balanced and content. We just got back home from the gym and I think now I'm gonna eat something because I'm actually quite hungry but not too much because we're going out for dinner tonight I'm really excited Malik and I made a new rule for our relationship which is that we are going to have a date night every single week which is really nice and I ordered a new book about hormonal health and it's called the happy hormone guide God. That book, that is so true. The author of the book, she had really low progesterone levels and went to her gynecologist, told her about it, and her OB told her, don't worry, those levels are only important if you want to get pregnant. And what she said is that, immediately I knew we were on different planets. That's like telling a man he only needs testosterone when he's trying to get a woman pregnant. Men would never accept that answer, so why should women? The fact that the gynecologist believed women's hormones are only useful for making babies represents a sad misconception in our culture. Well, it's already good. I can already recommend you guys that book. Self-care is not self-centered and it's not egocentric. We all have to take care of ourselves and that's the only life we can really control. But as I mentioned, maintaining healthy relationships with the people you love is equally important as investing time into yourself. For me personally, I made it a rule to have a date night with Malik once a week. No work, just food and a movie, maybe going out and enjoying each other's company. It's easy to take other people for granted, but I do think having people you love in your life is an act of self-care too and I would do anything to not lose them. Biggest act of self-care, sleep. I'm trying to go to bed by 11 p.m. these days which is an achievement because before Christmas I would be in bed at 1 or 2 a.m. waking up at 8 a.m. and feeling tired throughout the entire day. Because of my cortisol levels my melatonin is lower so I'm supplementing that right now before I go to bed and I have to say it makes such a big difference I sleep so much better when I'm taking it. I truly genuinely hope that everyone out there watching this right now is taking proper care of themselves. And if you don't right now, don't worry, that's fine. Each day you wake up and you have a chance to do better. I hope I will see you guys next time. Up until then, stay safe and bye.